All right. So today I wanted to talk about a brutal story I just heard from my mom recently. Growing up, there was a family that we used to visit every summer. My mom was friends with the mom. Now, the mom was blonde, smoking hot at the time, with a great body. Like, I remember even when I was like 10 years old, seeing her in a bikini and being like, wow, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, she was the typical like blonde trophy wife at the time. She must have been in her late 20s, early 30s at this time. Uh, they had a son that was my age, and the dad was a surgeon. So they had a huge house with an in-ground swimming pool and a ton of land behind their house. My brother and I would hang out with their kid that was our age. You know, we would swim in the pool. We'd, you know, hang out in the fields. Um, like I said, they had a ton of land in their in their yard. But for context, this was one of my mom's friends from high school. Uh, the dad was completely bald at the time. Now, I'm talking like Norwood 7 type of bald. Um, and, and he had like, he completely shaved his head on the top, but he would let the hair on the side and the back kind of grow a little bit. Um, not to an extent where it was like a couple inches or anything like that, but it was definitely enough to give off like the horseshoe type of haircut. On top of this, um, you know, his face is pretty unattractive as well. I remember he had like a really big nose, really beady eyes. He had like a mustache. I think I was going to say he wasn't very tall either. He's probably around, you know, 5'8 or 5'9, um, you know, looking back at, at pictures. This was just like a very interesting for me to see this. Even as a young kid, I noticed that something was just off. I couldn't put my finger on it back then, but something just didn't seem right altogether seeing her, you know, with him. Um, you know, my mom had told me that her friend's mom would always tell her to, you know, marry a rich guy. And she was told that, you know, she would, her mother told her, I wouldn't want to meet anyone that, that isn't a doctor, a lawyer, or dentist. So she kind of grew up with her mom and her, her dad telling her that she should absolutely marry a rich guy at all costs to live a comfortable life. You know, which is, you know, it's fair, you know, whoever you want to, whoever, whatever, whoever you want to marry as a woman, that's totally fine. You know, you have your own preferences. She then tells me that um, her friend had gone down to Fleet Week, um, which is basically when all the Navy sailors come back from being out on ship for so long. And apparently she told my mom that she went down for a whole week and had sex with dozens and dozens of young Navy sailors. And the crazy part is she had told my mom that she did this every single year up until my mom lost touch with her, which was probably about 10 years ago or so. They just kind of drifted apart. They just kind of lost touch. On top of this, she was also a stay-at-home mom while their kid was younger. The kid's now out of the house, and her and the surgeon are still together, though. So she got to lounge around all day for pretty much her entire life at a mansion all those years while he was working 16 to 18 hour shifts at the hospital. Like being a surgeon, I believe he's, I believe he's like a, he's a heart surgeon, but basically he works long, long, long hours. Uh, it's a strenuous work to be a surgeon. It's super, super stressful. And he pretty much built all his wealth, you know, through, through being a surgeon and kind of going through that grind. Mom, my mom was telling me that he was just too scared to try and divorce her because, you know, he'll end up losing a lot of his money that he worked really hard for. So basically he's stuck in this marriage where he is well aware she cheats on him with young Navy sailors and she throws this in his face all the time. Um, I can't imagine being in a marriage where your wife is like openly cheating on you every single year um, during fleet week. Like that's hard to, that's hard to stomach. It's great that he's a surgeon. He makes really good money. Um, he has a big house on the outside. When she was younger, she was the smoking hot blonde. Um, now when I see pictures of her now, she isn't as attractive anymore, but you know, more of the story is a lot of the time when you see these like mismatched couples where, you know, the girl is, you know, two to three points more attractive than the guy, um, or sometimes even more than that, there's a lot that could be happening behind the scenes that you just, you just don't know about. You know, in this case, the guy is super, super wealthy and 
he's literally getting cheated on in the background every single year when she goes down to Fleet Week and just has sex with a bunch of Navy sailors, young Navy sailors. And yeah, it just, it's kind of, um, you know, when you see these couples, you don't see them very often anymore. Um, I feel like nowadays, you know, with, with dating apps and, you know, standards have definitely gone up tremendously. You don't really see this so much anymore. But I think, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, you would see this a lot. But even back then, you know, this was the early, this was the 90s, the early to mid 2000s. You know, this was most likely what was going on when you had a mismatched couple where, you know, the the woman was much, much more attractive than the guy. Well, um, that's the story. And if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, take care.